Like, I just remember how I was. I was high-headed. I had a bad temper. I didn't want to hear anything anybody had to say. Dalton was making sure that I stayed in the gym, making sure I got up in the morning, did my runs, making sure I was just in the gym, even if I didn't work out. He just didn't want me on the streets. Boxing showed me to really cherish, cherish life, you know, and cherish rewards when you earn them and you work hard for them and that feeling that you get, the thrill, the excitement. You want to continue to have those type of highlights and moments in your life where you're happy, you know, and boxing, it makes me, it makes me happy. I started the business in 2011. Uh, I graduated from college in 2009. So in between that window, I was working in various jobs that I just didn't find any fulfillment with. I decided to open my own gym, and open an organization that not only was just a boxing gym, but also more to the community. Element Gym is a co-working and collaborative benefit corporation, boxing and fitness and arts hub in the Midway St. Paul. The values that we started with consisted of community. We wanted to develop community and bring people together through the sport of boxing. Whether you wanted to become a world champion or you just wanted to learn the fundamentals and use it for exercise. Collaboration was another one of those values that were very important to us. Working with other organizations, partnering with the county, partnering with the city, partnering with other micro organizations and our nonprofits. We actually serve more than 500 youth on a monthly basis through our programs that we offer here in our space and or programs that we do offsite. Slow, slow, a little slower, come on. Look, you're open. How are you gonna do it fast if you're open? Come on, hands up, go. We do have a lot of minority youth, at-risk, underserved population of youth that come from like the Frogtown area, the same community that I grew up in, and they come here and we offer them scholarships, especially for the low-income families that can't afford our gym prices. We don't turn anyone away. So we have a kids boxing class where our youth are able to come in and learn fundamental boxing for myself and or our other coaches. Not only helps them learn a craft or a skill, but it also helps them with their discipline. It helps them bring confidence in themselves and build it up to where that they can use that crossing over into school or crossing over into the workplace. So it challenges you, it pushes you beyond what your expectations are and or what you think you can do. And that's that drive and that's that dedication that it takes when you really want something. Um, you gotta put forth that effort no matter what obstacles are in your way and boxing can teach you that. I've seen a lot of changes with a lot of our youth who some are now adults, um, they come back to me on a daily basis and they, and they say how much our gym has done for them. Go hard guys, push yourself, push yourself. You should be tired when you get done. If you're not tired when you get done, you didn't push yourself hard enough. Ready, go. Come on, give me a twist, give me a good twist, good twist. Three, two, one, time, time, time. Good job, guys. Becoming a social benefit corporation was very attractive because it allowed us the opportunity to showcase our brand and showcase our mission all within a structured entity. Being able to put that benefit corporation tag on our name showed that we are bought in. We are really about what we're trying to do and it helps hold us accountable to say that we're gonna do what we said we we're gonna do. So when we say that we wanna create long-term sustainable programs, we make sure we create those and we make sure that they're showcased inside of the work that we do. There's a lot of misconceptions about, I think, benefit corporations um, and our social enterprises that you can't focus on bottom line in the sense of social impact and profits. Um, I think that you can do both. And I think that one complements the other. Uh, when customers or people see what you're trying to do and they feel what you're feeling and they're socially conscious and they understand the impact that you're trying to create, they, they feel a sense of belonging. They actually want to contribute more. They want to be a part. They want to help out in any capacity beyond even being a customer. I would say that social enterprise is the future of our economy because the world depends on it. I'm passionate about the work that I do because I came from these same streets. I came from the same neighborhood. I came from this community, the same community that I'm serving, the same youth that I'm serving. I look at those guys and I see myself, and I know that I personally wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for those same leaders, those same organizations that existed to impact. So I feel obligated 
to continue to do the work that I do. And I feel that like pursuing and continuing to, to drive my purpose as a human being on this earth by trying to create more and more impact, more and more programs, more and more opportunities for our youth of our future generation.